Hello everyone, it's Lori at ArditDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how to draw this umbrella vector in Inkscape. So let's scroll down here. I'm going to go to the circle tool, click on that, press shift and control, scale up a nice perfect circle. And I'm going to, let's open up this edit objects colors gradients menu, double click it open. And right now, all I want to do is have a stroke. So let's go over to the Fill tab and press X, and we'll get rid of that, that Fill stroke. Make sure it's on by pressing this button in the style. Let's see here. It's 10. I'm going to choose 20. 2, 0. Maybe different for you, depending on how much you're zoomed in. Um, so we'll do something like that. I'll close that up for now. And what I want to do is... Actually, I'm going to make this a fill. I'm going to make it a black fill, and I'll press shift, and I'll get rid of the stroke for now. We'll, ch we'll change it up afterwards. So I'll grab the squares tool. Let's click and drag across here. Let's make that a different color so we can see what we're doing here. And I'm just going to move it up. Actually, let's even let's, uh, let's turn these snapping tools on. Make sure your enable is on. And the one we want is this here and center of object. Let's see if that'll give us a, there we go. Okay, so the idea of that is to find the midpoint. So basically we just want to cover the top half of the circle, okay? So you don't need to center it or anything. Select both objects, we'll go to path, intersection. Let's have a look at the nodes here. Inkscape tends to, in the later versions, it tends to add nodes where they shouldn't belong. Um, I don't think it's going to be too much trouble. Let's see what Simplify does. Path and Simplify. So that makes it worse. It adds a bunch more nodes. I'm just going to press Control Z and I'm going to put up with it. So let's go to the Circle tool again. Press sh uh, Shift and Control. Drag out a perfect circle. And actually I'm going to make it an oval because this is what we're going to use to cut into that. So we're going to need three of these. Control D to duplicate. And it's okay if they're touching, don't worry about that. So just, we want to make sure they're even though. So Control D one more time, make our third. And then let's select all three and open up our Align and Distribute right here. Double click. Let's choose this button here, make sure they're even. And then we'll come down to the Distribute, uh, this one right here. And that just moved a little bit for me. So with them selected, I'm going to go to Path, Union. Now, we want this to be the same size as this. So let's let's see what the, the width of this is. The width is 703674 for me. Control C, I'm gonna copy it. And whatever it is for you, just paste it in here. Select the green object and Control V to paste. Press Enter. And then I'll press Shift, select this black object. Come back to the Align tab, open that up. And just align it. And then I'll close it up for now. So I'm just going to zoom in using control in the mouse wheel. And then I'm going to select the green object. I'll press control so it goes nice and straight. There, it actually snapped for me, but let's... The most important thing is, is that, like, it doesn't look like that. Like, there's a sharp edge coming out. So I'll put that back. Okay, I think it's covered. Got to double check, make sure it's all centered. And then we'll go path and difference. Let's have a look here. Let's look at the nodes. Make sure we do, oh, we got some extras. Okay, I'm gonna press Control Z to undo it. So let's move this green object up a little more. You know what, I think I'm just gonna make it bigger. I'll press Shift and Control. We need to cover the black area. So let's, let's turn these snapping items off. Press Shift and Control. So we just need to cover the black area. That's fine. Press shift, select both objects. We'll go path and difference. Okay, so now we have our umbrella. We can now give it an outline. So let's go to shift and black and then X to get rid of the fill. And then we're gonna come over here to this tab here, double click it open. Let's choose round the corner and round join and instantly that looks much better. I'm going to grab the pen tool. I'm going to click about here. Press control so it goes nice and straight and click enter. Select this stroke. We'll open this up again. 
double click, choose 20 or whatever it is that you chose, make sure it's all the same, and then close it up. So let's select both of these objects. We'll go path and stroke to path. Path, union, path, and actually I'm not gonna break it apart quite yet. So within union, let's go to path and path effects. Let's click this plus sign here. I'm gonna come to this corners thing. This is something new in Inkscape and I really like it. Um, sometimes it has some odd behavior, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So this is where extra nodes are sometimes a problem, but let's see what happens here. So let's just use this automatic plus sign and let the, let it do the work for us. See if it looks good enough. Okay, so that's not too bad. That looks pretty good actually. So I'm going to close out of the path effects editor. I'm going to select this. I'm going to go path, object to path to finalize that effect. And then we can break it apart. So path, break apart. So what that does is just kind of fills the empty space. So this top object, um, you're not going to be able to see much of a difference here. Well, let's color it. I'll press F7 and I'll color it this blue color. And then I'll go back to the select tool and I'll drop it to the bottom. Okay, so this inner piece, I'm going to press F7 and I'll get this green color. And then one more, I'll just turn that white. Okay, now we just create this little hook here, which I'll start with the rectangle. It's going to drag out a rectangle. This rectangle should be a fill. Uh, let's see, this blue here. Fill it with blue, press Shift and X to get rid of the stroke. And then I'm going to press shift to select the other blue object and I'm going to center that up on the vertical axis, this one right here. Click. Okay. Might be too thick. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Center it up. Vertical axis. Close it up. Okay, one last step. We just got to create that hook and we'll do that with a rounded rectangle. So click on the rectangle, click on the board, choose this circle here and round it up. And we're actually going to press shift and navy. And then we're going to press X to get rid of the fill. So we want a stroke. This is still a shape. So we're going to finalize it actually. We we'll just need to make sure that we have the correct in the fill and stroke panel that it is supposed to be 20 pixels. Two, zero, there we go. Okay, so we'll go path and stroke to path. Now I need to cut that. Actually, I'm gonna press control Z. I'm gonna undo that. So it's still, so it's still a stroke. No, it's a shape. So I'm going to go back to fill and stroke, make it 20 pixels. And what I want to do is manipulate the stroke. So we'll go path, object to path instead. So I'm going to, with the nodes tool selected, I'm going to select the, all these top anchor points and I'm going to choose this button here, break path. Okay, and then I'm going to press delete. All right, so there's our handle. It's backwards, so we'll use this button right here, flip it. So I'll press shift and I'll group these two objects and control Z, I'm gonna undo that. I need to center this one. So I'll press shift because I, I um, changed the size again. This one won't uh, center properly because it's got the hook on this side. So we just kind of got to eyeball it. And then when you're satisfied, we'll just go path, stroke to path. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to group all this stuff. Just, uh, we'll go path, object to path, path, stroke to path. Make sure everything's finalized there. And then I'll group it. And then the text. I'm just going to add some text here. Write umbrella. Um, 
umbrella. Go to the T menu here and choose your really cool font. This one is, I'll have a link to the description. It's actually something you'll have to pay for, but I don't think it's much money. I'll click the apply button, close that up, shift to control, scale it up, turn it white, so make it pop. Shift and control, I'm just positioning this. I'm gonna press shift, select the green object, and once again, I'm gonna to go to the align tab and align that. I might actually move it over just so that the space between the U and the A are a little more central. That's just my preference. Uh, the U is a capital while the rest are lowercase. Okay, so visually I think that looks better. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching guys.